Hey, I'm Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss all of the Scream characters who have used a fake name. There's actually quite a few of them, and I didn't realize it until recently. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post. Let's get into it. So first up, we have Maureen Prescott, Sydney's mom, and we find out in the third movie that she used to go by the name Rena Reynolds when she was working as an actress in Hollywood back in the 70s when she was a lot younger. She went by the stage name Rena Reynolds. And I think Roman couldn't find her because he didn't know her real name. An actress named Rena Reynolds tried to find her my whole life. Next up, we have Nancy Loomis in Scream 2, Billy's mother. Billy's mother! And the fake name that she uses is Debbie Salt. When she's posing as a reporter, she goes by the name Debbie Salt. And we have that one little scene with her and Gail when she tells Gail that she was at one of Gail's speeches or events in the past. And Gail says, oh, I thought I recognized you. Of course, that's not where she recognized her from. She recognized her from her journalism, writing about Billy Loomis. Next up in Scream 3, we have Sydney Prescott herself. She goes by the name Laura in Scream 3. You know, she's living in isolation and she's working a job on the phone where she goes by the fake name Laura. My name is Laura. How can I help oh, you? Laura. I wonder if Laura Crane in the Scream 6 opening was like a callback to that. What do you think? Next up, we have Jennifer Jolie in Scream 3. That's her stage name. Her real name, we find out, is Judy Jurgenstern. You should talk, Judy Jurgenstern. Which Gail thought was very funny. <laughs> 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 and then we have, in Scream 5, Richie Kirsch. Kirsch is not his real last name. The same way his entire family in Scream 6 also uses fake names. Detective Bailey in Scream 6, we find out that that is not his real name. Quinn Bailey is not her real name either. And Ethan Landry is also a fake name. The creators have even said in an interview that none of these names are real. Kirsch, Landry, and Bailey are all fake last names. They say that both were pseudonyms in the interview and that their real last name was whatever name they went by when they were living in the Midwest. We see that Richie puts the name Richie Kirsch on his fan-made film that they show in Scream 6. So he was going by that name for quite some time and that was probably just a stage name just like Jennifer Jolie and Rita Reynolds. So those are eight characters in the Scream franchise that all use fake names. Do you think Roman Bridger was a fake name? They never say that it is, but who knows? I mean, he's living this double life. I wonder who his parents were. Like, was he adopted? He must have been. I don't know. Did he live in like foster care his whole life? So comment down below if you think Roman Bridger was a fake name. I also wonder if maybe Mickey Altieri was a fake name because he was a serial killer already before the events of Scream 2, which we learned from Nancy Loomis. She says that she found him online somehow and there's only 97 active serial killers in the country. So who knows, maybe Mickey was using a fake name. Not that they ever said he was. Also, Gail Weathers sounds like a fake name. I think she even says herself in the first movie that it sounds like a weather woman's name. <laughs> sounds like I'm a meteorologist or something. Gail does say in Scream 6 that her family sucks. So maybe when she started to find success, she went by a stage name. Who knows? What do you think? Comment down below if you think Mickey, Roman, and Gail also went by fake names. That's it for today. Those are all the characters in the Scream franchise who went by fake names. Thanks so much for tuning into another video. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post.
You can also follow me on TikTok where I post daily, multiple times a day. And I'll see you next time.